Well, holy smoke, is it ain't no jokers, guys. We gotta talk about this Dr. Disrespect situation because what a day it has been. Everybody's going crazy right now. We got Reddit investigators, Twitter detectives going wild as well. I got a bunch of clips that I want to share with you guys. We got a ton of crap going down and people are just not stopping. And, and we got the homie geeks and gamers reacting. We got S S my God reacting as well. Like the video if you love your mama. Dislike the video if you don't like your mama. Man, like don't commit that sin, okay? And, and by the end of it, I want to know like what you guys think on this situation, okay? Where you guys are leaning towards. Do you think Doc is guilty? Doc is not guilty? I want to know that. But first of all, I want to play you this clip. So Dr. Disrespect drops a list of streamers that have done horrendous acts and have not been bent. Roll it. The reality is they wanted to cut down Doc. Plain and simple. Okay. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. Yeah, I've got some yeah. examples right here. Example number one, a streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied what? by hateful intent. Uh, you're talking about Kai Sinet? Or? Twitch scheduled a meeting with a streamer to assert his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, that's a example fair, number two. Fair. Uh, for context, he's just trying to say here is that Twitch banned him without asking his side of the story, essentially. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pet all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi million dollar contract. Example number three Streamer was reported for a explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead hmm, given a multi million dollar contract. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, yo, hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, who's that? Who, who's that streamer? Who's that? Yo, reveal the name, dog. Reveal the name, bro. It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc and used all of this as an opportunity to terminate my contract. I mean, he in line there, but apparently this also went down, right? Dr. Disrespect responded to people asking him to reveal his Twitch whisper messages, essentially the receipts, the proof, the evidence, right? And crap like that because he has been canceled everywhere, okay? And he responded by saying, what are we in second grade? Man responded by saying, of course, his ass thinking about the second grade. <laughs> Yeah, people laughing, people clowning, and this is why you said, roll this. People want show the messages, release the messages, show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? Yeah, okay, so there's that. Now I want to play you this. Uh, shout out to the homie geeks and gamers, and man, things go south after this one. And, how, and then, you know, when we are down south, we're gonna slowly but surely go down even more south, okay? Bruh. So just wait for it, just wait for it. You guys are not ready for this one, roll it. Events today, Dr. Disrespect has addressed all of the allegations with the situation with Twitch and his ban and a lot more. I reacted to this live over on my D-Day Cobra channel as it was going on. Doc had like 230,000 people watching him oh. concurrently. It was an absolutely insane Crazy. amount of people. Sheesh. And I gotta say that overall, it looks like he has done himself a very good job of defending himself, even okay. though I personally still am not satisfied. It seems like the majority of the internet is absolutely satisfied and the ball is back in Twitch's court. And I'll get into my issues still on the whole okay. situation, okay. Fair, but fair, fair. forget what I think right now. Let's listen to Doc himself right here. Twitch admitted Dr. Disrespect didn't do the you-know-what with the you-know-what internally, uh, Dr. Disrespect claims. Did the former employee lie uh, then on Doc's name? The same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same uh -huh. people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Mm. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Yeah, like that part is unfair, right? Like whether you think Doc is guilty or not guilty, you, you, we can all agree on this part here is that like essentially what, what I was saying earlier, right? Like this is why he was going crazy. 
So Twitch would give other streamers a chance to def defend themselves. They would bring in meetings and, you know, just get their get their side of the story, right? Like something fair to do. But in the case of Dog, they were like, nah, bro, like, <laughs> you out, you out, okay? <laughs> you get the F out, right? That's what happened. So uh, even if he's guilty or not guilty, th yeah, they, they should uh, should have done, like, their the fair assessment and should have got his uh, response and uh, th that would have been fair. There's another point which a lot of people have the problem with, the issue with, for example, like uh, I showed you guys this clip, people are asking for receipts and messages, which I think is fair to do, I think that's a fair question, and he's mocking by saying that what are we in second grade, so yeah, people got issues with this one, but overall though, on this point that Doc is bringing, that, that's fair though, like they should have heard, they should have heard his side though. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! Yeah. Now, all of what he just said there, I agree that Twitch is crap. I don't trust Twitch. I've never trusted Twitch from the beginning when this situation happened. I don't Twitch trust people that are part of the Twitch trust and safety team. I think Twitch is a very corrupt platform, and I don't like how they've run their platform ever. I right, never right, have right, liked right. them. Okay. So okay. everything right, he right, says right. makes sense right there. Then you have uh, this one right here uh -oh. Uh -oh. that really has kind of gotten everyone talking. Here we go. I wasn't sexting anyone. So Dr. Disrespect denies uh, the, uh, okay, duh, I, I mean, he said the word, so I, I guess I can say it too now. Dr. Disrespect denies sexting anybody, okay? You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc. Just to make sure these so-called journalists... Is he capping though? Is he capping though? Yo, we, we need to talk about this one immediately, okay? Where's that GTA 5 heist music, okay? Let me play that GTA 5 heist music uh, in the background, okay? Because holy smokes, it ain't no jokers, okay? Now, for context, okay? Dr. Disrespect was let go from his gaming team, you know? Midnight Society, the game uh, Dead Rock, the, the Dead Drop or Dead Rob, right? The gaming company, the game that he founded. He's the, the, the main guy behind it, right? And apparently, you know, he brought in Robert Ball, all the other devs and then ultimately they fired his ass and it's crazy that they fired him from his own company maybe it was a mutual decision we do not know what went down behind the scenes maybe it was a mutual decision where doc was like okay you know what i'm a, I'm a peace out i'm a head out y'all stay developing the game y'all stay cooking the game that's like the new term nowadays right <laughs> with the gen z and all that i mean yeah Bruh. it'll be what it be but here's the thing though he was let go from there uh, there and then he put out his massive statement where he said that you know i was talking with that individual minor so he added the word minor he removed it then he added that word back again and that's what he's talking about and he's claiming that that was to bait cody and all the journalists okay here's the thing okay let's assume that that's what happened let's just say dr disrespect was trying to bait the journalist why would you do that you shot yourself in the in the d my guy you shot yourself in the in in you know what i mean you shot your dragon bro like don't yeah that did more harm than good because after his own statement he was demonetized by youtube and still his demonet he still is demonetized by youtube oh, shit. Oh, yeah he still is man he still is uh, he was let go from his talent agency as well he's a, he was in the same talent agency as Do uh, robert downey jr insane he is massive man he is massive like he's that big to be in the same talent agency as robert downey jr a absolutely insane stuff i was mind blown too right uh, and, and he was uh his sponsorships ended with nfl nba like other game companies dropped him as well right youtube demonetized of course like i said so that statement whether you think he's guilty or not we're not talking about that guys but him just saying that he messaged a minor inappropriately his words he's claiming that that was to bait journalists okay fair like if you were trying to bait the journalist okay let's assume that's what happened but that that alone just uh you feel what i'm saying right like that has ended so many of his contracts and uh i, I should say like the sponsors dropped him and all that right like and that's after that he got demonetized on youtube as well so he really killed his own dragon after that bro would pick up on it <laughs> and boy oh boy did they ever champs uh -huh. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? 
What was you the didn't. itch? What was the itch? What was the itch? Neither did any of these journalists, and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at wasn't sexting anyone. So that statement right there has really won over a lot of people for his side of things. And like I said, uh, the internet right now is is he has won the the uh, the court of public opinion on the internet today for sure. And I think he's always been winning it when it comes to him versus Twitch because you know Twitch is a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I will continue to repeat what I have repeated from day one. I never sided with Twitch and I never believed Twitch. Fair, I had a yeah. problem with Doc's own words on a tweet that is now deleted. Yeah, he deleted Which is that. this yeah, tweet yeah. right here, which... Yeah, this is the tweet that I was referring to. He deleted that. And be after this tweet, he was demonetized by YouTube and uh, he was let go, dropped by sponsors. And mostly everything that... Ba everything bad happened was because of this tweet. Except for him being dropped by his own gaming company, Robert, Bow Robert, uh, Robert Bowling. He uh, also did say that he has seen the proof and he cannot support Doc and he's not going to work with him. That happened before his response, before Doc's response, but after Doc said that, which now Doc is claiming that was to bait the uh, journalist, okay, uh, that was to bait the Cody, okay, let's assume that, but this has done more damage to Doc's reputation than all that. You, you feel what I'm saying? Whether, if you think he's guilty or not, like, I'm, I'm talking about both sides here, right? And I want to know, like, where are you guys at with it? Even if you think he's guilty or not guilty, let me know in the comments, first of all, if you think he's guilty or not guilty. And if you believe he's not guilty, I want to know, like, what you think directly uh, about this response, because, yeah, maybe this was to bait Cody, but this has done more harm than good, bro. I still think he... Like, this is where I'm still very confused on. If you take this tweet out of the equation... Wait for it. Then I have zero issues with Dr. Disrespect. I have zero. I don't care what he does yeah. in his personal life. I don't care what he does. I don't care what people do. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care who they are. He's an entertaining guy. His fans love him. That's all I care about. Uh -huh. um, this is the tweet that he deleted. And the line in question right here is, is the thing that I just cannot... I, I can't understand this. This is the word minor, right? So he uh, had that in the original statement, then he deleted, then he added that back, and that's what Dr. Disrespect was referring to, and I was also giving you context. So for context's sake, so yeah, this is the one. So were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. I don't get why he's saying that he put this in there to troll journalists. That's not something that you just troll people with I, it's very strange to me yeah yeah, yeah. um where this has done more harm than good guys i'm saying even if you believe that he's uh, guilty or not guilty right like this alone has done a lot of damage uh maybe not in terms of like his fans like if you're on doc's side okay that's fair if you're not on his side fair you know what i mean right like that's fair brother that's fair but but you know officially speaking like youtube demonetizing him and uh, the sponsors letting him letting him go and you know that has damaged his reputation essentially right so that that's a part that's the part i i feel like that he should have he, he really should have dropped the the receipts but he's mocking maybe he don't have it so this is why uh, he was like it's disrespecting time <laughs> he bro was really in his character man he really was in his character though there are real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. Uh, these were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned uh, too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Uh, nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were printed. All that. This is... I just am very confused as to why he put this out there. I know he's claiming why he put that out there. And again, just for the context, we're going to play this one more time so that we understand. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, let's actually get down to what Asmongold says. Okay, let me actually see this there. Because we already played that clip, right? Let me show you guys this. Wait for it. And as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> okay. I respected those rules. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Right. 
However, if one side violated that confidentiality, then then you can. And the other side, side could respond. I respected all the confidential obligations, <clears throat> but apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors. By name. Ex-Twitch employee. By name. Wasn't even involved. Leaks. Twitch's reported reason. Oh, Years later. Mm -hmm. Cody, why why you why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally. And you knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you fucking rat to leak the reported reason Twitch rat. banned in 2020. Okay. Well, I mean for what? Call me Cody? Rat. Why? Did rat. you not know the repercussions from spewing lies? Did you not know the repercussions lies. of accusing me, Cody Connors? But didn't you You see, you don't know shit. And it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? That's Do you what even know said. what the legal definition of sexting is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's Whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. You also okay. said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement just to make sure these so okay yeah now that you have seen that uh, his own deleted response and you got this as context i want to know what you guys be thinking man i guess this has done more damage dog this has done more damage to your reputation man like you shouldn't have said that bro you shouldn't have done that man called journalists would pick up on it and boy oh boy did they ever champs when you and oh, all these no. so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time. The rumor was it was a 17 year old girl, but that that's like, we, officially we don't know the age. That, that was a rumor. And I see a lot of people commenting. And of course, like people have been commenting that like everywhere. Makes sense, understandably, but but that's a rumor. We don't know, and Doc still did not reveal any messages. And maybe he don't have it, or maybe he has, and it's bad, and that's why he's not. Or maybe he's, like, you know, playing 4D chess. Maybe he's going to be leaking that later on. Maybe in the coming days. Probably, maybe, or maybe not. Perhaps. Let's, uh, we're going to find out. I'm of the ban. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but it's you're true. wrong. Let's set the record straight. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon. Or and Sergis believed that one because like TwitchCon and Dr. Disrespect just don't go well together, okay? Was it E3 or TwitchCon where he went to the public bathroom with the camera? I believe that was E3, right? So he was banned there. Uh, at TwitchCon, he also met a chick and you know, he disrespected his uh, disrespected his wife. So TwitchCon is like that's what, and there has been so many horror stories out of TwitchCon, right? Like every every time TwitchCon happens, some bad happens there with streamers and people. Let's just say, right? So TwitchCon is cursed, man. Don't go to TwitchCon. Essentially, is uh, what I'm what I'm learning from this one. I'm learning and growing from this situation. Yeah, man. TwitchCon is uh, yeah. TwitchCon is not the way, man. Or anywhere else, and in fact. We n never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. They report on, on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. What happened? If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, then you would hope they would tell the truth. And what was the truth? But apparently that's just too much to ask. Where's the truth? If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly the who they are, actually had firsthand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, oh. Twitch's trust and safety team Team. The same employees that decided to ban me internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CC. Uh, Cody uh, Connors whoa, whoa, and these whoa. other anonymous sources are trying to paint whoa. a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. Okay, now he's like, he, he's now like, gotcha right there. He's coming at me, the gotcha right there. Man, that, okay, even if that was like a bait, bro, you don't do that, man. You don't do that. I guess he's worth like, what, millions and millions of dollars. So I guess the rules are different for him. But you, you know what I mean, right? Like, you, you, for example, you watching this video, you're accused of that crap. But you know, deep down, you have never done anything like this. 
Would you still do something like that? Would you do something like that? In the case of Doc, he was like admitting it to uh, messaging a minor inappropriately, right? And, and that has caused... Listen, you can say he's guilty or not guilty. Um, we're not talking about it, right? But uh, like that has done more damage to him though. He shot himself in the in his own dragon, man. Like he I'm shot I'm sorry, dragon. but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. We're yeah, okay, that that is fair. If he was like joking around and nothing was like, uh, uh, you know, nothing. If it wasn't illegal, which he claims it wasn't illegal. If he wasn't sexting, he's claiming that he was not sexting. sexting. If it was just like, just. Uh, a normal chat then that's fine but leak the chat dog leak the chat but leak the chat man we want to see the messages too we're talking about allegations that twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel allegations that twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal on june 21st 2020 mm. my ex twitch partner manager learns that i exchanged whispers with the twitch user and i say ex partner manager because for years this guy didn't do anything for me my community or my channel for years uh -huh. the twitch user tells the ex twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time just in case anybody missed that one. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch okay. partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. Wouldn't they all find this... no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. That would have been the end. That should have been the end. But that partner manager, oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. Yeah, he had it out for the two times. He finds out that no- Yeah, okay, so now he's at three times or what? Like, is he changing it to, to, to three times? Damn, man. Damn, damn. I mean, die. Crazy turns of events. Uh, second, <laughs> crazy set. What is going on, man? No further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. Right. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. So a day later, on June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Uh-huh. Mind you. How do you know that? This director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files the LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director now if you do this you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate even when they aren't within less than Damn. one hour this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from twitch twitch oh, submits what? a report to NCMEC and over four years have passed they didn't do anything with the report the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages so yeah everything that Cody said in terms of like like, uh, I, I believe it was Rod Breslu or Cody. Basically all of the Twitch uh, circle jerk, right? So they were saying that this was uh, all, this report was sent to child safety and st investigation. So this is what Doc is now talking about. So for years they have been investigating and nothing was discovered by them, okay. Just did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Okay, so Jeez. Twitch or makes 17. this decision to terminate my contract. Okay, so it was uh, based off of that. Uh, we still don't know the age, but I guess uh, Aswin is now assessing that it was a 16 or 17 year old. Because in in the US, right, in a lot of states, 16 is like the legal age of consent. Oh shit! Oh shit! We, I, I think it's fair to say with everything now coming out and Doc's own response, I think he is not guilty legally, but he still has that like creeper behavior. If you want to think, if you think he's a creeper, okay, that that's fair but that that's different to a pdf file i don't i don't think he's a pdf file i didn't think he was a pdf file even before because he didn't met he didn't went out to went out of his way to met a minor in real life in person to do that crap unless there was evidence for that then of course you can claim that he is now this is a very big big title right to taint somebody's name and reputation but this is why like i'm not going in that direction 
but still we we need the receipts we need all that proof but it's it's uh absolutely is true that in the u.s alone 16 years old in a lot of states not everywhere not everywhere but 16 year old that's like that's uh legal age for consent and in uh, some countries I, I even japan japan raised it up to i believe 16 and 18 but back in the days it was like uh, up until 2015 it was 14. Oh, shit. the age of consent in japan i'm talking about i'm not talking about like any other country japan uh, 14 it was crazy it's crazy so yeah they're upping uh, like the countries are now upping their age of consent it's crazy i want to know your thoughts on it as more stuff comes out i'll cover it Check out this video on the screen, some insane drama going on, man. Check it out and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. You got some GTSX PS5 Pro gameplay leaks and they're looking kind of odd. They're looking uh, kind of odd. Check it out and I'll see you.